Hi guys, long time no see. I feel like I haven't filmed a video in a very long time and I thought it was time to film. I've actually tried to film other videos and they just haven't worked out. Either I, I'm in a rush or I'm just really tired. Today I have time, I'm not feeling too tired. And I thought I would do my empties because garbage goes out tonight. So let's get started. The first thing is this Color Easy Permanent Cream Hair Color looks like this it's in the color black and I've just been really enjoying just having my natural hair color and so it's really easy to pick out a hair color from the drugstore um, I found this at dollar the where, where do I go Dollar Tree I think it's Dollar Tree it was a dollar and I really like this for the price you can't beat it I it lasts for about a month um, maybe even a little bit more than that before I ha would have to color my hair again. And I like to color my hair even if I don't have a lot of grays, which I do have grays, and that's why I dye my hair. Uh, so I um, feel like for the dollar price tag that every four weeks, every six weeks, that this is a really great deal. The only downside is because it is a black dye, you're, uh, you're only getting the dye in here. You're not getting any conditioner or any oils like some other hair hair box dyes, ha hair dye boxes have. Uh, the only downside is it really covers your whole scalp in the black. And unless someone's really standing super duper close to you where they're invading your private space, they're not going to notice, I feel like. And it, if you get any on your hairline, with this hair dye, I would recommend that you put Vaseline. Other ones, I... You know, they're kind of easy to take off. This one, very hard to take off. Okay, so that's enough of that. And I had two of them. Uh, next is... This is the Top Care Moisturizing Dry Skin Lotion. Wegmans brand. It says compared to Vaseline Lotion. I really like this. I would definitely get this again. I just like trying, every time I get a body lotion, I just like to try a different one. I know in my head the ones that I really like. This is one of them. I just like to try different ones each time. Okay, garbage goes that side. Uh, this is the Plackers Micro Mint. I am obsessed with flossing my teeth with these. Because of these, I floss my teeth if it wasn't I don't like the string I just feel like that doesn't it's hard to reach in the back and these are so much easier and these specific ones are my favorite kind I order I, I order them I buy them over and over and over again next is the white tree snow exfoliating exfoliating foam cleanser by the face shop and I have mentioned this product once or twice I loved it I would definitely repurchase it's just a really gentle but effective exfoliating foam cleanser. They're just, there's something about Asian face products that I feel are just really gentle but work well for your skin. So if you have sensitive skin, sensitive skin, I would try this. It was very good and it took a long time to finish. Next is another face product. This is Kirkland brand face wipes. Love these. Uh, I do like the Neutrogena ones a little bit better for removing eye makeup, but this one is a really good second and I keep on repurchasing these over and over again. Uh, next is the Aveeno Baby Daily Moisture Lotion. I finished this and you'll see a lot of the lotions. If I like it, I or even if I kind of like it I will open them up because there is so much stuff in there at least a week or two weeks worth of products so I would definitely recommend if you can without hurting yourself open up lotions or packages containers that can be open because there's so much product left it kind of gets me annoyed that companies make it so hard to get the stuff out of the packaging because there's a lot left in there next is see I mean Almost everything is opened up. This is Not Your Mother's Smooth Moves Frizz Control Hair Cream. This smelled like a cocktail. Coconut cocktails infused with coconuts, coconuts and silk extracts. It's actually, there's not coconuts. It's just coconuts and silk extracts. This was really good. I don't know if I would buy the full size. I actually have not been that impressed with Not Your Mother's products. I have a few of them, and they're just not wowing me um let me know which products are your favorites if you like not your mother's because i 
I love the packaging and uh, I would love to find something of their line that I like. Or maybe we just, it's not going to work out. But let me know what your favorites are anyway. Uh, this is the Michelle or Michelle Dermaceuticals Fabulous Eye Cream. I used the whole thing. Did not really notice a difference. I am starting to see a little bit of fine lines under my eye, but very, very minute. Maybe this is what's keeping it at bay. I don't know. I That's one product. I mean, there's been several products, um, but that's just is like one range of product that I just haven't found one that I like. So if you have any eye cream recommendations that's not too expensive, please let me know. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, this is the Biore. The Biore Pore Unclogging, Unclogging, oh my goodness. Do you ever have one of those moments where you repeat the word over and over again and you're still messing it up? Why can't I say that word? The Biore Pore Unclogging Scrub. I was probably saying it right the entire time. I, mm -mm. there was just something about the smell of this that I did not like. I try to use it up. As you can tell, I used a lot of it, but I was just like, you know what, I'm done with it. Um, there was only maybe a few uses left. I was like, that's it, I'm done. I just, the smell, and I mean, I do have a sensitive nose, but most of the time I can just get past it. Like, let's say I have a shampoo that I'm not in love with the scent. I will use it because I'll use a conditioner, uh, that scent, that that scent I like, so I will, you know, forgive that. But face, face wash, I, I'm not really going to wash my face twice, so, at one time. Uh, next is this Natural Essence Mask Mask Sheet. I think I ripped off the part with the with the brand on it, but I get the this from H Mart. Um, I can't recall anything about this. It's probably just like same old kind of mask uh, that they have. I usually write down if I really like a mask. I usually write down that I liked it. Next is actually a hair tool that I, I have to get rid of because it stopped working. This is the Remington hair straightener, and I love this. I was so upset that it died. Uh, I tried playing with the buttons and pressing it different ways, and it just was not happening. So I have to get rid of it. This was a product that I got on the recommendation of Miss Glamorazzi or Ingrid, uh, and I love this while it worked, but I feel like that it died way quicker than it should have so um i mean I, it was a drugstore price around 25 dollars which i felt like was pretty good um but i feel like i've had other products last a lot longer so i was kind of disappointed in that but i guess i can't, can't complain too much it really worked well while it did work and it's a bummer that it stopped working now i am gonna get another straightener not that one um, maybe I will, you know, know, later on, but I'm trying out a different one. Next is the L'Oreal Fallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray, and I did finish this. Now, for me, I really like this, but I don't like it any better than my e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray, so that's how I kind of judge setting sprays. Do I like it less or more than that? Because that's only three bucks. And no. And this is pretty expensive from the drugstore. I'm still sticking with my elf. Uh, here's another one. Another face wipe. Oh, here is... This is the Perfect Gel. This was... It's by Shiseido, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think it's perfect. And then it's whatever it is. Um, if it's gel, foam, cleanser. Uh, so this... You use, it says cleansing gel, and I just, I used it to remove my makeup because I had read somewhere that that's what you're supposed to do with these. I never felt my face got clean, and I wouldn't use this solely as a cleanser. It says face cleansing gel in English on the back, but I just never felt that my face was clean, and I wouldn't get this again. I used to get that at H Mart. Okay, here is the Crazy or Crazy Moistage Wrinkle Essence Cream. I did like this for nighttime. It was very, very, very 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 thick it looked really pretty it kind of looked like a souffle and i used every bit of it i would repurchase this again it was great for nighttime 
Here is my absolute favorite deodorant. This is the Dove Clear Tone, which I believe they updated. I had asked Dove because they got I couldn't find these anymore, and they're like, "Oh, we got we just discontinued that product." But I've seen things that say uh, twenty four hour, forty eight hour. So I think that's the equivalent. This is fantastic. I will try to. Um, I want to use the newer version of what I believe is this and hopefully it's it's still the same. This is fantastic. I even got a backup off of Amazon, a four pack because I couldn't find these and this just keeps, I sweat a lot. I get, um, get very hot and I need something that's going to keep the sweat away. This does it. So I will look around Amazon, eBay, you might find a good deal on those. It's called Dove Clear Tone. Okay, here is the OptiFree Replenish uh, Contact Solution. I thought this was good, but I still would get my Kirkland ones, which is a really good deal. You get the same size, and you get three bottles for a really great price. Uh, this is the Crest Pro Health Toothpaste. Really like Crest. It's probably my go-to toothpaste brand. Although I do like the Sensodyne, but they're kind of expensive. And sorry, this do you see this? This hair is like just my face gets easily irritated. You guys know this. I am getting rid of this e.l.f. eyelash curler. This was the dollar, but it broke. I was silly and put it in my car and like banged it, banged the bag around that it was in, and it just will not go back. So it was a dollar. I got another one, and you just have to be careful with it. I wouldn't recommend, like, traveling with it, which kind of stinks, but uh, it's just, um, if you want to, even though it's a dollar, you don't want it to break if you really like it. And then this is from a Asian dollar store. It's called Dollar Dynasty. Oh, this does bad. It's bad. It just doesn't work very well. Bye bye. Uh, here is a foundation that I finished. This is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless in beige, classic beige. I love this. I scraped every bit of it that I could. And if you look at it, there's not really that much in here, but I would definitely repurchase this again. So easy to use. Um, if you are, if you have bad skin. This is great. I, I, I think I have not so great skins. This is why I love it so much. Your skin just looks flawless, easy to put on, um, just glides on. If you have issues like pimples or hyperpigmentation, just covers all. And um, if you don't have bad skin, I would think you would still like this if you like full coverage. If you don't like full coverage, do not get this because this is pretty thick stuff. Uh, and I think... That is it. I had collected a lot of empties over the past few months. I hadn't done an empties video in a very long time. So it was time to do one. And hopefully I'll start making videos on a more regular basis. Time just got away from me. I'm sure you guys are uh, feeling the time crunch in December. Like I feel like right after Thanksgiving things start to pick up. And um, I've just been so busy. But I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying the holidays. Christmas is right around the corner. Uh, I am done with my Christmas shopping. I'm waiting for one thing to come in online. Um, I'm doing something with a photo with photos and a frame, so I have to wait for the frame. Uh, but that's it. I hope your shopping is going smoothly, and that's it. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.